sex is not bad in as much as I have not had it. This thing that everyone wants to have, I don't think it's a bad thing. It must be a very good thing. And of course, we took our na hey, bebe, tunajitesa. Why would we be sitting in the same place? Hapa tunangangana, tunangangana, adi tunasoet. And then we know that you'd <laughs> never get there. Someone told us that sex is not about kukuja pamoja kulala hivo penetration and all those things. That sex includes even the details that leads to the iyo kitendo. But you cannot keep on kijana mwenyako so serious na we kumuambia you are waiting on God. Na unajua kabisa kabisa. Untaki. Unataka kuwe things ndiyo kama itawak. Nisawa, kama uku kuingine ita beti itachomeka. <laughs> At least kuna hii. So, in the spirit of kungoja ni wapi beti itawaka perfectly, unaeka mtu. And then, badai, I have heard people say, mi kwanza wasena wakanisa stakangi kusikia, and they tell me so many times, like, mi kwanza wasena, ah, oh, wanakuwecha adi three days to you, or whatever. It's something that is gonna separate me from God, then mimi, I am willing to lose that relationship. Good evening, good morning, good afternoon, depending on the time you are watching this video. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. This is Tamara's family and we are back like we never left. As always, we bring you inspirational stories in anything relationship and marriage. And today I have on set two beautiful ladies who will be discussing about dating as a Christian. But before we go there, I want to pay my bills. I want to appreciate B4M Pictures for allowing us to have, uh, to have this beautiful set. Uh, if you are looking for someone who can have uh, professional photos, either individual or uh, family, uh, family photos, and also videography, uh, I will put a link to uh, uh, B4M, uh, B4M Facebook page. You can go and check their work. And also their uh, contacts will be in the description box. You can call them anytime. And also we have uh, we have our sponsors AA uh, Driving School. If you're looking for someone, you can uh, have professional driving course. AA is the place to be. And yes, I'm done paying, paying my bills. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So I want you to introduce yourself and then uh, train the course. Okay. Um. Yes. Okay. Thank you for this uh, opportunity. Um, I'm Grace Lona Wambogo. I'm a student at the Ben Kimathi University of Technology. I'm pursuing Bachelor of Commerce Finance Option. Yeah, that's me. Thank you. So, my name is Charity Wamboi Moguku. I am born again Christian. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. I am um, I'm working. I'm a PR specialist. And I'm still continuing with my study, pursuing international relations. Yes. 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 And um, um, I'm a youth leader uh, in our church, PCA Rorengo Nyeri. And I'm a content creator. I have a YouTube channel by the name Charity Moguku, where we talk about matters affecting young people, relationship, dating, you know, spirituality, all those things that uh, concern a young Christian person yes ah, great so in today's video we are discussing a very important issue dating the christian yeah so before we go there there probably is someone who is asking uh, who are our status yeah, maybe Lona can start. Eh? Lona. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am single. Mm. I am single. There's hope. Yeah. <laughs> there is hope indeed. <laughs> yeah, I'm single. Yes. Yeah. All right. And you're happy. Yeah, and I'm happy. I'm yes. single. I'm happy. By I'm choice. contented. Yeah, it's by choice. Mm. Yeah, because um, this time for me, I'm taking it as a time I need to prepare myself mm -hmm. and so I am single by choice. Wow. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well <laughs> for me I am in courtship. Um preparing for 
transition i am hopeful and expectant of the next uh, stage in my life trusting god for marriage yes all right so i uh, no hope uh, this, uh, yeah there is no hope <laughs> Yeah, anyone when uh, Jesus. Yes, I focus on Jesus. Yes. So, uh, I want probably to ask you and uh, because now you are in that stage of courting and that courting, what's the difference between courting and dating? Mama, what is courting and dating? Probably someone is watching. Mm -hmm. Am I dating? Am I courting? Okay, maybe I may not have so much understanding. Maybe they can tell us. Mm -hmm. uh, but I think dating is a period whereby you have already, like our sister is single, mm -hmm. and then mm -hmm. an a relationship. So an anza, an akimutu, an apelekana. Mm -hmm. So I think that Come period, I yeah. Say, well, <laughs> <laughs> I come to Kazuri. <laughs> <laughs> so an apatana. Mm -hmm. yes. And then they, I think that period in uh, uh, your dating, but in Africa, kwa courtship mahali msha intentions zenu msha zi make known to your maybe parents and at that time maybe you are in uh, preparation for marriage so I maybe they can tell us but I I, I once told someone that I'm dating and then they are told see my family had introduction then that is not uh, dating you are courting so maybe you can also advise us because you're in marriage right <laughs> Um, I think, well, I think I agree with what Charity is saying. Um, dating is when, um, if I get someone, we maybe start something, but we aren't sure if it's going to be solid. So before that time comes, when we are able to now agree that we are going for marriage i think that period is your dating but in courtship um now when we are sure that we are going for it we are doing life together that now becomes courtship of course when you you propose maybe you go for your parents for introduction yeah that's when it becomes courtship okay. yeah uh, maybe for me i would say there's engagement there's dating and there's courting, I guess. Yeah. I stand to be corrected. But I think an engagement is when you started something. Mm -hmm. It's just a friendship. Mm -hmm. And then uh, dating is now when uh, there is feeling now you feel like I need probably to know this person more. And then I think when courtship is when now you are taking steps. Mm -hmm. That's my thinking. Probably I may be wrong. You can correct me and probably you can write in the comment section. Yes. Help us understand these things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's I know. complicated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But it seems like to connect to to <laughs> na, to na same the same things is yeah. what yes, yes. it stands to be corrected. Yes, yeah. yes, yes. So there's a Christian lady who is mm. watching this video. Mm -hmm. And that, what you do when you go to Okay. Assuming, assuming quoting to see, mm. to see, need to see, to see separate is on the title. Mm. Assuming this is someone you love. Yes. Okay. Ataka mahamuja zizo processes. Yes. What do you do mm. as a Christian before you get married? Well, um, it all depends. I once I was listening to someone speak of Christians, different types and levels of Christianity mm -hmm. and they were trying to say that there are those Christians who are pursuing Christ to the fullest in as much as there is imperfection in pursuing righteousness at least wanangangana wanapambana so that they can live in accordance to instructions and commandments by God and ata wakianguka wanajaribu kusimama tena na tena then he says there is this another person who is just a Christian by name and also a church goer so yao tu ni kukuja church Vitu zingine wakisha toka church zinafanywa na watu wa nje, watu wa world. They are still doing them. And then he said, the other person is this Christian. Mwenye tu huwa anakuja church, but huyo, ata haju. Christian ata ni watu huwa wanasema juu, anamuona, but there is nothing about them. So for me, I think uh, the conversation that maybe I would speak of is a Christian who truly is seeking God in our imperfection as human beings. We are trying to live in accordance in as much as it's not easy 
I believe that is the Christian topic we are talking about right now. And uh, expectations are there because our God is God of standards and his standards are so high. And in dating or other courtship or even in a relationship, kufikisha ama kukaa kwa standards za God siyo rahisi. And remember, you as a person in that relationship, there is also an expectation you have within yourself to live in accordance to the standards of God. So there are several challenges that are involved in Christian relationships, honestly, because there are things that people in the world are doing and you cannot do. So for me, I think when I was starting a relationship, I thank God I was intentional in as much as at some point I was not fully informed. I thank God that I was born again and I have people who are keeping me accountable in my spirituality and in my work with God. And they are not young girls of my age. They are even, there were even women in marriage, women that I looked up to. And uh, shout out to Mrs. Jayar Yetonga. She's one person who has held my hands in this journey. And she was just telling me how things are really are. And even at times when I felt like, ah, I know God are going to standards, but see, at the end of the day, this guy Niata Nioa, she would remind me of the standards of God. So number one, me, sex before marriage is a no. And I think... Before, before let me cut it short. Eh? Yeah. Because I think uh, we have a, a long story about your dating. Yes. It's good to tell these people that you have dated for six years. Oh, yes. <laughs> 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 but before we even come to that, eh? <laughs> when it's too hard, yeah. eh, it seems like it's not a joke. I know. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, congratulations for that. But before we even come into the details, eh? yes. I want to ask Lona. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, yes. Uh, we normally say when you get in a relationship, you need to be whole in yourself. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. You're not looking to uh, for, for, for how do I put this? You you want to get involved involved in a relationship when you are whole, you say. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you're complete. Yes. You're not feeling like you're looking for something from the other partner. Yes. So how how are you getting ready for a relationship? Ama how would you uh, how would you get ready? Ama unapanya nini to get ready? Okay. Um. I think I'm getting your question. <clears throat> um. In terms of preparedness or readiness, mm -hmm. uh, let me start by saying that in life, everything, if you if you don't prioritize something, it will never materialize. So the moment I learned that, um, of course, we tend to really prepare for some other things like school, like uh, maybe your job. But when it comes to marriage, I don't know if it's ignorance or to Jeffikia here level you can understand that um, if you want something good you have to work for it you have to uh, search you have to actually be intentional about um, getting information concerning that thing so that you're not swayed or you don't end up um, making wrong decisions and uh, like in this time and day when it comes to relationships and dating for young people in this generation i am telling you it's a it's a whole jungle so if you're not careful you might end up um, going astray and i'm a christian who really wants to uphold god's values and christian values and because i know that i i have to be really intentional about finding information that will help me to know how to go about dating when I get to that time. So your question was, um, how how am I getting prepared? Um, one thing I do uh, in terms of um, getting prepared for relationships and dating, I research, I listen to relationship coach. How will I... Kwa yeah. wingi, <laughs> coaches when you are in about relationships. Um, I also read books concerning the same. And um, I think uh, I also listen to life experiences from other people who have been there. Like Charity will be now, of course she's been one of the persons we've been uh, discussing with.
this topic relationship dating and um i think it's good to have someone who is holding your hand especially if you're a newcomer as in how <laughs> <laughs> yeah so ndio usipotea kwa utapotea utapotea sana ama ukipotea hautafika mbali before urudi on track yeah so i think also having someone who holds your hand and like mtu mwenye anakuonyesha direction hata kama si uh, like how trust kabisa like holy but at least there's something you get from that person so having a mentor listening to um coaches relationship coaches also reading books and learning from other people's experiences yeah all right Six years <laughs> What are you waiting for? Oma, what were you waiting for? Uh, six years may sound so long, but imagine it's not. Oh, someone who you a stranger for five years because I did na manual. There's someone who cannot date for five months. Yes, yes. Yeah. So you have done it for six good years. Yes. What's, what's the secret? You see, like people have been telling me, especially in church, eh? mm-hmm. guy, imagine me hata siwezi date mtu for more than one year. Kai utakuwa ukifanya nini na vile there are just so many high standards of a Christian relationship. Mm-hmm. Guy, <laughs> you'd rather hurry so that you don't fall <laughs> into temptations. <laughs> so, I think um it's not as long if i were to take you through my relationship and my journey yeah it's been six years but i got into this relationship as young as she is and uh it's been a long journey because at the end of the day in as much as i got into a relationship early i think the only difference here maybe kuna watu wana get into a relationship or two are 26 wana oleka na 27 me sasa kusema sana ndio asijue miaka yangu but i got into a relationship so early yeah very early let me just tell you i know so some tajua but i got into a relationship at my 20 20 years yes yes nisha sema washajua ni sawa ina shida so i got into a relationship at 20 i was in, i was still in campus and one thing people may not understand in as much as 6 years zina kazi ko nyingi based life Uh, we were talking with you sometimes and we were saying in that dream that every person has it's not all about family and marriage there is a package and there's just so many things yes talk of education it's in that dream talk of career wise your spirituality and your growth in every area it is in that package yes including marriage which i honor and i value and i love so much but just so you realize that If you don't come with the loan amesema you must be intentional about prioritizing what comes first because imagine a situation whereby i got into a relationship at 20 and then ndio ni date hiyo mwaka mmoja watu wanasema ama months kumaanisha by 21 years 20 actually ningekuwa maybe already in marriage but vile nimesema in that dream there are several things and we had to sit down na tuka agree tumepatana na tumeamua tutaanza hii mahusiano so what you are going to do ni chore ni chore life yangu in the next five years nataka ikue aje na yeye akachora yake and we had to sit down and see for some reasons so many things ziliingiana and we were like yes this is it we know we are not going to get married in five years because imagine i completed my school at 23 I still had other jobs, uh, other dreams including my career. I didn't want to kumaliza shule, ningia kwa ndoa immediately. I felt like even over time nilikuwa na grow and I felt like ah they still if I would give myself at least two years me grow, there's just so much wisdom and knowledge that probably comes with age which is not always the case but they start aspect of wisdom and knowledge with age. Eh? So six years sio mingi ina kamingi because i got myself into a relationship early yes especially when you are busy doing other things yes yes i was so much engaged so much engaged shule kazi nilikuwa nafanya shule na kazi at the same time so marriage was not in the picture at the time 
and we knew hata tukwaifika mahali tukapata pressure ya eh manze imekuwa so long let's do this thing haikwaifika hapo because when we knew this is my age this is his age these are our dreams we sat down and tukandika vitu in order tunataka gani kuja first and i think of all the things we wrote down marriage was the last thing yes which is happening now now we are in that season mm. what's your vision of marriage and relationship what do you think do you think that people like me who are in marriage are enjoying and they are work to honeymoon 24/7 Mawa <laughs> mawa. <laughs> What's your vision of marriage? Um okay, how I view marriage? Uh, okay. I'm a person who loves weddings. Let me start by saying that. <laughs> And I I think okay, in my mind when I think of marriage, there is a childlike uh if I, if I may say uh, a childlike approach. Like ile ya mm, marriage is something beautiful marriage is something of course it's as sana nakuwa ndio nakuja ku know that you have to be intentional you have to work on marriage if you want it to work but um, still at that i believe marriage is a beautiful thing and it's something that um, should not limit you it's something that um should actually make you grow as a person because for me marriage is yes i am complete yes i i am a person by myself but instead of doing life alone when i have you i will it will be better and we will have um more opportunities and we will we will grow each other we will better each other so for me i see marriage as um something that's beautiful and something that um is workable yeah of course i used to have that um view of uh, like when i write down the qualities i want from a man <laughs> one of them is <laughs> i keep on telling people one of them is i want them i want him to love me every day like to fall in love with me every day. Yeah, of course there is that um feeling of when you're in marriage to be yeah, mm-hmm. smooth smooth. Mm-hmm. But of course as I grow, as I learn, as I get information, I get to know that it's not that easy, but again it's workable. And it's doable. It's possible. Yeah. So you have the tips there. <laughs> eh? <laughs> If you can be able to do that. Right now she's uh, since your priority. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yes, yes. So um maybe my personal experience. Mm-hmm. Uh, okay, I had that mm-hmm. when I was before I got engaged. I want a, a brown short lady. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> kwa mikono yako yote eh and then i wanted uh, to be older than me yes at least uh, not not uh, not uh, not less than three years younger than me mm-hmm. and then i wanted someone who is a uh, business oriented mm-hmm. and then i wanted someone i had so many things i wanted mm-hmm. but uh, i got 90% Wow. Wow. Ah. <laughs> I got 90%. Wow. Yes, That's yes. a plus. Yes, yes. Can you imagine the relief? Yes. 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 Eh. But the first man, he was the one who was writing the story. Oh. Na na kasa git bi. Wait, I I enjoy myself. Wow, mm. you are lucky. Did you get what you wanted? Awesome. Yes, I would say I I am not yet married, but I would say one of the things I honor God for <laughs> I keep on telling Lona an honest conversation about relationship as a Christian. 
I think right now when we talk of relationship, I know maybe you'll get me there as we continue this conversation, but an honest conversation, when we talk relationship, Christian relationship, sex is in that equation. I don't know whether you know that. She's a student. We were, I am also surrounded by so many people and sex, sex is a key thing in relationship. And one of the things that even girls in church, I'm like, what happened now? Like, imagine, like, I told him I cannot do sex before marriage, and that alone, ilifanya our relationship is. So, I thank God because number one, Aki, I prayed for this. I know people would be asking, 20 years old, yes, I was praying for my husband, even as a teen. Eh? I was praying for a husband. Uh, I am I, one person who loves family. I would say I wasn't brought up in a, the most, most admirable family setup, but I, I love marriage and I love family. And I would pray. As, the, as I would pray for myself, I knew that this is my future. This is someone that I would do life with for the rest of my life. And for that reason, as I prayed for myself, I would pray for my husband in so much innocence and I thank God because when we sat down and Nikamwambia sex will not be part of this. Okay. Of course I jaribu to argue. I kukua ti rahisi ati nilimwambia hivyo ati akasema oh ni sawa haitakuwa hapana. But I thank God because I prayed. Okay. The kind of prayer I was making, God, I know you are all powerful. I know there's nothing that Lord exists without your knowledge. And I know that there is nothing beyond your power. Everything is below you. My prayer is that God, through your spirit, may it rest upon him. And may you convict his heart to respond to this. God, if I'm not doing it for myself, this issue, I'm doing it for you, which I would also, by the way, desire. Sex is not bad in as much as I have not had it. This thing that everyone wants to have, I don't think it's a bad thing. It must be a very good thing. So I was like, God, if I'm doing this for you, in my own imperfection, I'm just trying to do it for you. I send you a power to convict his heart and cause him to respond to this in a way that honors you, in a way that will benefit me in this relationship. So I thank God because I went to the insertion. It's a Catholic whatever prayer center in Thika. And I prayed. I was still a student. I prayed for that thing. Siku saba, nilienda kuomba mungu saidia. U mtu nikimuambia hiki tustaki kwa hii relationship, akubali. And I'm telling you even first thing, when we went and sat down, eh, bado ye haku kuwa convicted. Alikuwa nasema ya asha niona, na meona ni kumstana mzuri, na anajua tasetul na mimi. Why would we wait anyway? That was his reasoning, yes. So, uh, but I thank God. I would say kwanza that one, because that is the biggest of the challenge, I would say. I am excited about that. And then he's one person who, who fear the Lord. And I thank God that ni msewa ana, anapenda kutafta pesa. Mi misaki kukitia mashida pesa. So at least anajituma kutengeneza pesa. Anajituma kutengeneza pesa. So even with the challenges and struggle here and there, at least anajituma kutafta pesa. Yani ni naona, ni ule mse unaona enyewe, ako Ata kama tu kuna challenges, hizo za pesa. Nona ni msia na jituma na anangangana kabisa. So yes, I thank God. Kijana ameka ameka sita. Ajai. Yes. Ajai fanikiwa. I imagine. <laughs> I know you, you want to ask me how has it been like. I know, I know the how, the how, me. the how, the how, the how is the cha, oh God. Where? Usha iskia, maybe sometimes. The, the spirit is weak, but the body is weak. Time. I mean, that is the order <laughs> of the day. It's not like ati, ati nishai. Does it mean you have never met? We meet, eh? As in, in, in private places. We have met. Initially, we used to meet in our private places, in that I would even go to his house. But sasa tukaona, tusha say my sex is not in the picture. What is sex? At the end of the day, sex situ wakati melala, mkaget intimate, mkakuja pamoja. There are so many details that leads to sex. And of course, we took on a hey, baby, tunajitesa. Why would we be sitting in the same place? 
hapa tunangangana tunangangana hadi tuna sweat and then we know that you would never get there and yes 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 and we are like we are not going to do these things and by the way we decided and we sat down and discussed it in details so at some point uh, I, I thank god through uh, the same we learn alikuwa anasema mentorship someone told us that sex is not about kukuja pamoja kulala hivyo penetration and all those things that sex includes even the details that leads to the hiyo kitendo and we decided sasa tutakuwa tuna meet in public so imagine hey tumekuwa tukimeet hivyo mm. yes in public <laughs> and another thing i wouldn't say it's a plus because in anifinyanga <laughs> we are in a long distance relationship we have been working in different towns so that has been a plus for us so in a month at least we meet two or three times na he either come here in Nyeri or like go where the across town from where he is so mna meet mna meet but one thing people don't know at a body being weak you don't necessarily have to have someone there it gets even weak i don't know whether they can tell us even get weak when you are so much alone yes in your thoughts yeah hadi ukikuwa peke yako watu wanafikirianga at those things that you na feel just because you have someone here hapana these things you are going through them every single month one after the other hadi nilifika mahali nikasema hey as i was telling you mimi I am not for single independent okay and all those things no me I don't want to go through this it is too much i desire marriage and i desire companion and everything that comes with marriage god you know i want it so <laughs> come yeah, yeah i want it so bad and i'm praying for it that god would help me that you'd honor my weight that i would enjoy this thing to the fullest whatever beautiful thing comes with it may i be yani may i be a partaker of it so Yeah it has been like that but uh ours it's not been so much struggle of at tumejipata tunataka kufanya hivyo kwa pamoja me would say personally me I do anasema I know I'm wicked were it not for the grace and the mercies of the Lord and salvation a god I know I am bad I would probably have gotten lost and drifted but by the graces and the mercies of the Lord and reading the word and the word of God reminding me what I need to do as a Christian that is all that is what has kept me but i would say the biggest of the battle as paul says that whatever the spirit wants is against the works of the flesh and whatever is for the flesh it's against the spirit so mimi sahi huwa hadi ninateseka nikikuwa peke yangu hadi akikuwa mbali but mungu ni mwema bado ninaendelea kungoja hadi huo wakati ufike <laughs> wow hey. okay they are good ladies ni mnazama hakuna mabibi huko nje na list eh ni kena test so eh yeah. uh, i have seen so many videos online mm. shule watu wameoana <laughs> kwa hiyo yeah. that's true eh uh, young young people yam uh, boys and girls are cohabiting <laughs> <laughs> how has that one affected you in terms of how you view relationships um Uh-huh. concerning that of course when i was joining campus um i was innocent to to such things of course the first time i discovered that that was the order of the day <laughs> i was so troubled and i was like god kulini chingile cuz um of course i knew that when a man and a woman decide to live together um it calls for a lot of things you don't just live together with someone <laughs> but um unfortunately i had to adapt to that see mimi atinifanye but um to accept ni wow see mimi and my standards remain me i cannot live with you if we have not gotten married and you think that is possible It's okay call it, call it old school oh, but <laughs> <laughs> but <laughs> mimi na mimi um you know in this life you have to have your standards you have to have your values mm. you have to have what you hold on to your beliefs you have to hold on to them very strongly unless I'm a lest you will fall for anything anything that comes your way so what i will say concerning that um 
of course at first i was troubled and i was like god my prayer was just god hold me <laughs> hold me because i don't want to fall into temptation but uh, i believe with as they, as days have gone by i think i'm quite stronger like it doesn't really affect me that that much as it would kitambo of course you would feel i mbona mimi hata mimi sina mtu no mbona no kuni ni mimi tu of course of course you are the prey you are the prey and there are predators coming after you and you're like mbona ni sigivin but um truthfully speaking um of course you in a world and of course the things that are happening have to affect you as much as you're not into them yourself mm. so it has not been easy but as time has passed by as i get more knowledgeable as i get to be more stern in what i believe in and in my standards i have not gotten that affected my view concerning marriage is still the same i still believe it works and it can work even if si lazima ikwe through vichochoro you know it will, it will work at mm. a old school mm. yeah it will work yeah it has not changed my my view on marriage and how i want it for myself yes, yes. yeah i have a problem with the christian young ladies mhm when you know i am i'm waiting on god You know man I have never <laughs> have you ever had a man say I'm waiting on God I I mean if you have if you have a man who has never told you as a lady let's wait on God Nazara kujua what as it mean wait on God when it comes to making a decision that is personal mm-hmm. that I'm waiting on God to make this decision here yeah, let's get married what does it mean to wait on God Um, me okay many of them who are anasema hivyo cuz they are not for it i think uh, cuz when we talk of waiting on god inaweza maanisha vitu nyingi sana like mimi currently i am trusting god for settlement in ma- kupata familia so definitely that is a waiting that i am in waiting in as much as there are plans that we have laid I am still waiting upon the Lord to make it happen because of course it cannot just happen without God in the equation. I mean he is the beginning and he is the end and for everything to work in a good way you have to invite God at the center of it. So like mine iko hivyo but here kuambia mtu mtu kijana anakuja anakuambia oh ninakupenda mimi ninaona ati tunaweza hata unaona aje tukipanga tuanze safari ya ndoa ama kuoana then mse anasema ati no let me wait ati nisikie Mungu anasema nini me i think that is they are wasting people's time i hate it they, they usually i was telling Lona the other day you see if you know utaki mse hata usifanye kubaye time akikuarika hiyo kofi enda umwambie by the way i am not for it because of this and this na just speak your heart and your mind out for christian women i think like they are spoiled for options not even christian many women outside here they are so much spoiled for option i can tell you mimi kama kwa siku especially my customers siju kama wananiona at least <laughs> unajua i think mtu anachokozwa kulingana na mahali yako me i think ni customers wangu wananichokoza because of where I, i i i work in a day at least for mind you this for si vijana peke yake kuna wababs eh? wazee <laughs> kuna young like mm-hmm. you mm-hmm. na kuna pia single mm-hmm. so unapatanga hao wote wanakuchokoza so i think hiyo sijui kwa nini wasichana wanajifeel sana na wanaona it's like something so treasureless or precious ati kuchokozwa from all kona well it is but you cannot keep on kijana mwenyako so serious na wewe kumwambia you are waiting on god na unajua kabisa kabisa Untaki. unataka kuwe things ndio kama itawak <laughs> ni sawa kama huku kwingine ita bet itachomeka <laughs> at least kuna hii so in the spirit of 
kungoja ni wapi bet ita work perfectly unaweka mtu and then baadaye i have had people say ni kwanza wasiana wa kanisa stakangi kusikia and they tell me so many times like mi kwanza wasiana au oh, wanakuacha hadi 3 days to your whatever i have had those things au ni wenye umekaa na msee for years and then anasema no the last minute so i feel like many of them wenye huwa wanasema the waiting which we are talking about here wengi hawakuangi wanakutaka ni kukuwestia time wa kijaribu ni wapi bet ita work mm. so in the process of ita work wapi anakuweka ukiona amerudi abda haziku work ukiona kuna mahali me work better than there so which is bad yes. which is bad they bring god mahali hata afai kukua mm. Mm. so if you have someone who have told you let's wait on god see you in the living <laughs> <laughs> yeah let it be clear yes, yes. Mm. so um money is an important aspect when it comes to relationship and sometimes we mistake people say i'm waiting on god and maybe you feel you're not prepared in your your finances mm. ama maybe career wise unasikia unafika pale so i think we need to differentiate between getting ready in terms of personally mm-hmm. and he could say my waiting on god yes yes because I, i don't know this is my perspective mm-hmm. god has given us the freedom mm. to make choices especially yes. when it comes to marriage yes mm. yes in fact marriage is not a requirement mm-hmm. marriage is not a requirement from the bible to say that see my what you are yes yes it's a personal choice yes and that is why you have been given that freedom mm. to choose yes your partner Mm. or to choose to get married or not. Yeah. So I think eh you are kugojea Mungu, I think God probably is waiting on me to make that step. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I stand to be corrected. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true. Yes. For you, how long is long in terms of waiting? Okay, assuming you mm-hmm. are shule. Mhm. Na ume kwa job. Mhm. Everything is working. Mm-hmm. How long is long in terms of the period you should wait? Okay. Um when it comes to the issue of how long how long I should date someone mm-hmm. before now we settle down. Um mimi na nanga hiyo swali kwa um okay. Acha niweke hivi. Okay, for me it's not about how long. Number one, it's about how well you've known the person. Ndio tunaweza kutana na wewe leo na because of maybe the times we spent together um maybe what we do within two months to mejuana like of course kuna ile to an extent i mean takujua no before we live together na nilikuwa nimekujua within two months kuna mwingine uh me not am any sense ako distant And so by the time I'm getting to know this person very well like ile niko confident I can settle with him it a take time before sanikwe yeah I want to go for it I want to go for marriage with you in as a take maybe an year two years I don't know but for me it's about so like for me when the time comes it will be about how well of course taking into consideration that marriage will be a priority then of course when you may say I'll have been established in terms of my studies in terms of my career where I want to be before I now settle down so when it comes to that time of course marriage will be number one. okay will be the priority so if it's the priority uh, I don't have to take so long before I settle down as long as I'm convinced that you are the one as long as i'm confident with you and um yeah as long as nimejua ni wewe and i want to do life with you so how long should i take to date depends on how well i'll have known you yeah as time progresses right. so i i won't say that niweke a specific amount of time ni say two months three months six months two years stasema hivyo but now according to how you are with your partner um it depends it it vary it vary yeah okay so what now that you have dated for six years mm-hmm. 
What is this one thing that you don't stand? I'm saying, I put it here. Like, I don't want to have this relationship anymore. What is this thing that you cannot stand? Well, that's a tough one. Who really have that one thing? Honestly, that is a tough one. I I don't know, but I usually say I would if you tell me I don't know, or rather if you drift me from the ways of the Lord, that one is a no. I remember one of the things we were beginning when we were talking of sex before marriage, we were like I told him one thing. If then you want us to go the sex way, I am sorry. In as much as I am so committed, in as much as I love you, and I want this relationship so badly to work, if you are not ready to give me time, not actually giving me time, I am here just trying to pursue God. I am just a girl eh, who's trying to honestly seek the Lord in the right way, in her own imperfect ways. Eh? So I told her, if in Kikuyu they say, so I was like, if it's something that is going to separate me from God, then Mimi, I am willing to lose that relationship. I am willing to lose it. Yes, yeah, so I think that that's much of it. Yes. Okay. So, guys, I think we have had a good time. And I think we are learning, and I hope we will be, be here uh, another time. Yeah. So I think we cannot discuss everything in one sure. video. Yes. But one thing I think uh, I need to congratulate you for is hey, six years, my friend. Eh? <laughs> six years, hey, my coffee is already. Six years. 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 But I think it's a very tough decision. <laughs> If you are, I think mean, this thing is not for everybody. You because I'm waiting for six years. Yes. You will probably you will be tempted mm. to do what probably is not Christian ways. Probably don't take too long. Yeah. Would you advise that? I would say that I'm actually. Mm. I keep on telling her she's way younger than me. I've been watching her like five years, and one of the things I I keep on reminding her all the time. Really, it doesn't have to go six years. It doesn't have to be one month. As she has said it so well, and I love it the way I'm saying her. It has in charity story, charity script has. It's not necessarily everybody's script. Everyone has to write their own script. Mm -hmm. And that's just how it is. I think kila mtu anaandika script yake kudingana na vile anaeza kuyenda mpaka muisho. So just know how your story is. Ndiyo adi ukitengeneza your script, you are fully informed mm -hmm. about it. Wow. Yes. And uh, just, I know we are ending, but I think maybe next time we'll need to talk all expectations zenye watu wako nazo za christians because there are many i am telling you there are sometimes you talk and people are like guy when you naiza ongea hivyo so there are so many expectations and standards yes we understand we are surrounded by the crowd a very huge crowd of witness mm -hmm. but still i think there are things that next time we'll talk about <laughs> expectation of a young christian mm -hmm. I, yes in relationship. yes wow. in relationship yeah. yes how they expect and how they want things to run wow. yes and assumptions and so many things people assume about young uh christian women mm -hmm. yes wow you have officially booked yourself for another thing. That's a wise way, Bukuja. <laughs> so anyway, guys, as we wind up, I want probably to give you like a small tip. Munamahadi, yesterday we did a video, and if you haven't watched that video, go back and watch the whole video. Uh, we had a guest who is a pastor, Alisema, mm -hmm. a marriage was not meant for happiness. Mm -hmm. If you are looking for happiness in marriage, you are looking for happiness in the wrong place. Wow. <laughs> I said, my marriage is for purpose. Uh -huh. You get mm -hmm. it? Yes, yes. So, like, um, if you read uh, the Bible, mm -hmm. God created Adam. Mm -hmm. And God gave uh, uh, Adam responsibility. Mm -hmm. Do this, do that, do that. Yes. And the cause of doing that, mm -hmm. God said it is not good 
command to be alone. Yes. You get? Yes. So I mean, let me create a helper mm. for this man. Mm. Um, so there has to be something that this man needs to be helped mm. on. You get? Yes, mm. yes. So the man first of all needs to have like a purpose. Very clear. Mm -hmm. This is where I want us to this where this is where I want us to go. I already know what God wants in my life. Mm. So it's a gap. Um. And then you come in to help because you are a helper. You get it? Yeah, got ten. So Lazima O Jama Zeme and Ataka I ako sure in mm -hmm. life yaki was mm -hmm. the purpose. Yes, yes. So Abuna Buja Kumsa Yia Kwanini. Mm. Where where exactly? That's why wow. preparedness really is yes. important. Mm -hmm. You come on me by the time I'm getting to dating and um, getting into relationships. That is the first question I'll ask you. Mm -hmm. Like, mm -hmm. you've known your purpose, you've known what, what you want with this life. Because <coughs> it's really sad if we take marriage as. Kitu tu ni ya so casually. Um yeah so it's it's really important to work on yourself and discover yourself first before you bring someone else into the picture. Um, yeah. I think I'm enjoying this and uh, I can't wait for us to have another session. No. But for the sake of time and because we want to spare you for the next episode. I want to Malize to siku moja. I want to uh, it's a beautiful feeling to have ladies one who is engaged and married, someone who doesn't have an idea. <laughs> <laughs> Very much so. All the same set. Yes. <laughs> so we're going to have uh, more of this discussion. Uh, keep watching mm. and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss the second session. And also we are having also people who are coming to bring the experience. Mm. Yesterday we had one and we continue to have uh, bringing these couples on this set because we want to have uh, like uh, this discussion from someone who has an experience, someone who is about to have that experience, someone who is wishing to have the experience, <laughs> and let's have this discussion going on. And thank you very much for tuning in. A big thanks to B4M for giving us this beautiful space. It would not have been better without you. So, if you are looking for someone who can get professional photos, B4M is the place to be. In Mount Kenya region, we are the best. And also, uh, AA Driving School, we have an offer. I don't know whether you have this in, in Munaitaji offer. Yeah. We have a free, we have mm -hmm. an offer. We are giving a free driving course. Wow. Yes, for one person. Of course, we have had a Munaguja Kwaset. Yes. Criteria me, first of all, you come and give your story, whether good or bad, whether it's about relationship or anything that really matters to you. And then if the audience loves you, then you you you, you get the offer. Yes. Get oh, it. Yeah. So what do you think you need driving course? Oh maybe we are in total uh in Is already? Um well maybe I can be a candidate. Mm -hmm. For that offer, mm -hmm. yeah, <laughs> so, I think so. <laughs> if I strong, yeah, too strong, yeah, yeah. 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 Wow. Mm -hmm. So come on, we pend a lona. You pend a Jesus. The disclaimer: You pend a Jesus. Pend a Jesus. Yes. Tavaladi, you can vote for lona for that course. What about that? When is my issue? What about that? When is that? Yes. Uh, oh, but I, I am trained <laughs> for that. Only that I got trained Kitambo Nikimadiza High School immediately mm -hmm. and after ku training was na Daria Kwendesha. So I don't feel confident. I would I, I actually wanted to go back this year because at least uh, right now I have something that Nikona Sina Gari, like at least Nikon Namtuaneza and Isaidia Nifanya. And like then while I was in after high school, you define like any other side. So I wouldn't mind <laughs> I wouldn't mind going back. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yes. All right. There you have it. Charity also and I request vote for her. <laughs> uh, but voting will commence once we have the, all the videos done. We are if you have a story, you still have I think we have done five videos. I want I want us to have fifteen contestants. So if you have a story you want to like share one, we are doing it, I'm calling it a stories and impact. That's the name of the show because we want to share stories 
one to be packed with people with our story because it's inspiration when you are sharing your personal experience. Mm. Probably there's someone who is watching and maybe at a PTR stuff. Mm. So when you get to share, it becomes uh, even uh, it comes good for someone who is mm. watching and a PTR. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we are sharing our stories to be packed, and then number two, then we uh, in sharing the offers that we have. Okay. So that still goes now to the person who comes for this. Yeah, to share the experience to now impact directly. Yeah. Yeah, sure, 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 sure. I agree. Yes, yes. Mm. So thank you guys for watching to the end. If you haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Uh, that's the best way you can support our channel. And I hope to see you in the next video. But until then, it's a God bless you and bye bye. Bye. Bye bye. <laughs>